Welcome back, Helldivers. When writing the most recent script for the lore video on this channel, for the exosuits, there was a comment from a previous lore video that really stuck in my head. It had mentioned along the lines that maybe at the end of the day, the game doesn't need to have extensive lore. It's just a game about shooting bugs and robots. And quickly, I want to say thank you to everybody who uh, replied to the difficulty video I made, which still to this day is popping off like crazy, and talking about how, hey, I don't need to be listening to the comments, you know, I need to focus on me, don't listen to the haters. I really appreciate all the love and protection you guys show. This comment specifically about lore, I don't, I don't personally consider, you know, a hater comment. I consider it a different opinion, which is what I love on this channel is asking people their opinions, hey, what do you think? That way I can see things, you know, through a different perspective. But that's a great question, you know. Does Helldivers, as a franchise, really have an extensive lore? And I think the answer, if you were to compare it to other games that, that are known for lore, I'll use Destiny 2 as an example, the answer would be no. I, I think it's pretty safe to say that, no, Helldivers 2... Well, really, the Helldivers franchise does not have an extensive lore like a game like Destiny. Now, okay, maybe Destiny is, you know, on the higher end of lore. So even considering it versus other games that may have deeper roots in kind of background stories and, and world building, Helldivers in general is a little light. And originally what I was going to say is, you know, that's all right. It's, it's not that big of a deal because the game is about shooting bugs and, and robots. But obviously, lore is important to Arrowhead and the developers of the game. There's a great video called Liberty Day, The Lore, <laughs> where the game's narrative lead talks uh, directly about the lore behind Liberty Day. Take a, take a quick look. Liberty Day is a very important day for humanity. It is when all citizens come together to remember and celebrate what it means to be free. Hi, I'm uh, Nils Hansen Bjerke and I am the narrative lead at Arrowhead. In the distant past, and uh, this would have been before the Democratic Council was even formed, humanity was in a state of utter chaos. People didn't know what to think, uh, there was no source of truth. And remember, there was so much noise at this time. Misinformation, disinformation, information, people just voting left and right. It was complete democratic anarchy. But then, humanity discovered managed democracy a way to let people be truly free. So Liberty Day is the day we celebrate the arrival of this beautiful concept. More specifically, it is the day when the Democratic Council presented the first and final draft of managed democracy. Seeing the game's narrative lead so excited about the lore is what prompted me to, to start making lore videos in general. I thought, man, this guy is, this guy is really excited about the lore the story concepts behind why we do the things we do in this game, I want to cover those topics. I want to dive in and discover it. And so, yes, in my most recent lore video, I kind of thought to myself, man, there's a, there's not a whole lot on these exosuits that I can cover. This might be a really short video. I might just be reading weapon and armor descriptions from the first and second game. Until I did a little research on the planet that our exosuits are from, Tian Quan, and found some real-world inspiration and thought, hey, you know, maybe this isn't exactly what the developers had in mind. Maybe this isn't where they're going, but maybe it is. Why don't we, why don't we cover that topic and see what we can find out? And then I think it, at that point, it then dawned on me that, at least in my mind, Helldivers 2 is light on its lore for a reason. That reason is because we, the players, create the lore. I mean, let's take a look at Malevolon Creek. You know, when the developers put the game together, I'm sure they didn't look at Malevolon Creek and say, yeah, hey, we're going to put together this huge, massive story about this campaign. You know, maybe they did. Maybe they had an idea. Maybe Joel knew, yeah, they're going to have a hard time with Malevolon Creek. But looking at the community, the community has created this story around Malevolon Creek. You know, that it's kind of the, the Vietnam of Helldivers 2. And so in such an interesting way, there doesn't need to be in-game written lore about Malevolon Creek, or at least there doesn't need to be a lot of it, because the stories, the world building, 
that we get for a planet like that come from the community. They come from us. They come from our experiences. They come from everybody's experience on that planet. And so soon, rather than reading into lore about, oh, all these different hell divers that have been written and these characters, you don't have to read about characters written about, you know, in a game. You can just go watch somebody else's gameplay. You know, or you can watch somebody else's, even even their memes on YouTube or, or Reddit or wherever. You can just watch that. And at least in my mind, that's the lore. You know, it's a part of the lore that on Malevolon Creek, we're getting, we're getting stomped by the automatons. And so anytime I watch a video about Malevolon Creek, whether it be, you know, super serious or most of the time pretty, pretty hilarious and satirical, I think, at least in my mind, that's what I see the lore as being. Oh yeah, if somebody says, oh yeah, hey, what's what's the lore in Helldivers 2 about Malevolon Creek? Oh man, let me tell you. Man, that was a tough battle. You know, that was the Vietnam of Helldivers 2. You know, and that's, that's our story. That is our legacy. That is our lore. And so while I do love it when developers flesh out a world with lore, and I would love for Arrowhead Studios to do more of that, absolutely, 100%. Please don't take this as me saying don't do it. As much as I love doing that, Helldivers 2 is in such a unique position to not need to rely on it. To instead rely on the players. To rely on the experiences that we have in the game to be the lore. To be the story. You know, and that's what I think is so wonderful about the game. And everybody kind of follows this code of, of democracy. You know, we're all brothers in war. And that somehow also translates into the lore. The lore is what we make it. The story is what we decide by our actions. And I think that's just what makes Helldivers 2 such an amazing experience and definitely something that we as consumers in the gaming market desperately needed. And I think it's something that Helldivers 2 has just swooped in and, and absolutely just done spectacularly. So I'm going to keep covering the lore pieces that I can uncover along with the community absolutely 100 percent but i think i'm also going to focus on lore videos on like malevolon creek well what did happen on malevolon creek well let's look at other people's gameplay and let's see what malevolon creek is like you know and at the end of the day if that's the only lore we ever get if arrowhead doesn't add in anymore i think that's perfectly fine because at the end of the day you know we're creating the lore like i keep saying and I'm going to be a happy player. So thank you, Arrowhead, for creating such an amazing game that the players truly do get to tell their own story through. And thank you for watching this rambling video of me again. Uh, I want to know what your thoughts are on Helldiver's lore and if you agree with me and if you disagree with me. That's really important to me that I see all sides of the conversation. I do love seeing other people's opinions and other people's thoughts because... You never know what the other person is thinking. So thank you again for watching, and as always, and as always, go spread democracy.